just underway here. Game two of doubleheader between Brevard and Salem. And beating out the throw to first and then advancing to second on the early base runner in scoring position. As that'll bring up Shelby La Point. Sandra Miller awaiting on deck. Grace Reynolds in the circle for the Tornadoes. Game two of this doubleheader. Salem was victorious in a tight ball game in game number one. As that's fouled back. Early opportunity here for the Spirits. Pitch there. Bunded foul. So once again, Spirits. It's hammered foul, so count will remain 1-2. Corner infielders for the Tornadoes, Caitlin Olive at first base, Peyton Wise at third. Both playing fairly shallow, as that's High and inside, 2 2. Right. And the 2 2. And this is lifted foul, so the battle between Reynolds and LaPointe will continue. And the pitch. Called strike three, so Reynolds able to get LaPointe. Our apologies, having some issues with the internet connection here at the BC softball field. I appreciate you sticking with us. As Tornado's able to get on the board, 5-1 now your score. Here in this Bottom of the second, Gabby Hooper led things off with a triple. And then a pop-up by Layton scores Hooper. And out there as Carly Queen flies out to right field. So two down. That'll bring up Riley Locklear. Tornado's able to get on the board here after trailing 5-0. Four runs in the first, one in the second for Salem. Pitch here on the outside part of the plate, strike one. Get 
And the pitch from Price. Outside, 1-1. One, one. Two one the count with two outs. Bases empty. Bottom of the second. And Locklear able to lay off that offering. Hitters count three one. And taking first base is Locklear. And that'll bring up Peyton Wise, starting third baseman for the Tornadoes. Wise one for one on the day in this game two of the doubleheader. First time up wise, a single to right center field. There's another hitter's count for a NATO is 3-0 count to wise. Take all the way from Wise, so 3-1 now your count. And swing and a miss there. Good looking offering from Cat Price. And what was a 3-0 count is now full. Slice to right field, and then a throw, and the ball is unable to be squeezed there by the third baseman, LaPointe. And runners now second and third. So a single, then... Moving to second on the throw. So Wise, two singles in this contest, both to right field. As grounder up the middle here, and it's going to get through the middle of the infield. That's going to be another run for the Tornadoes. As Wilborn drives home Locklear. And that'll bring up Harlow. The tornado's in business here in the bottom of the second. And now a meeting in the circle is Salem's coach. Looks like there's going to be a pitching change for the Spirit. So stick with us. Bottom of the second, your score. Salem 5, Brevard 2.
Jaden Harlow will step to the plate. New pitcher and first pitch hits Harlow. Griffin Pierce, the new pitcher for Salem. Freshman out of Carolina Beach, North Carolina. And Tornadoes. Opportunity gets that much larger here in the second. Base is loaded. And the pitch. Across the outside part of the plate. Caitlin Olive. Her second at bat in this contest. Pitch here. Fouled away. 0 2. And the pitch from Pierce. Missing outside. 1 2. And that'll score a run with the bases loaded. As Olive able to the RBI in the hit by pitch, and Weiss comes home to score. That'll bring up Summer Chris. And just like that, the Tornadoes have cut a 5 0 deficit to 5 to 3. Three runs here in the second. Now the opportunity for Chris. First pitch off the plate 1 0. A 5-3 ball game. Game two of this doubleheader. Pitch there. Cross the plate. Called strike. Grounder there. Force out made at third. But Tornado's able to get three runs in the process. Shave the lead to... Just two runs for the Spirits. We'll head to the top of the third. Your score, Salem 5, Brevard 3. So it feels like an entirely different ball game after trailing 5-0, now 5-3. As we head to the top of the third, Grace Reynolds will go back to work for the Tornadoes. A warm Tuesday afternoon on the campus of Brevard College, a pitch. Fouled back and out of play. Savannah Atkins at the plate for the Spirits, the starting catcher. Atkins, Duffy, and Stokes do up here in the third. Line drive there. 
to right field, and that's going to be a leadoff base hit for Atkins. That'll bring up Carmen Duffy. Duffy, freshman, playing shortstop, and looks like we might have a pinch runner. Number 11, Amy McLam. Pinch running for Salem. Number 11, Amy McLam. Freshman from Charleston, South Carolina. Deep freshman class for the Spirits. Grand total of 11 first years. Pitch there, outside. 1-0. Grace Reynolds, the junior from Troy, North Carolina, Montgomery Central High School. One won the count. Duffy versus Reynolds. Infield in, a runner at first for the Spirits. Laying down the bunt there is Duffy, and a successful sacrifice moves the runner to second, and that'll be out number one. Ashlyn Stokes steps to the plate now. Runner now on second for the Spirits. One down. Here in the top of the third. Stokes. Another part of that first year class. Out of Richlands, North Carolina. East Duplin High School. Pitch there's low. Ball one. Inside, but able to paint that inside part of the corner of that plate to make the count 1 1. And the pitch. Low and inside, 2 1. And the 2-2. Outside, 3-2. And the pitch. Fouled off. Now we're a main full. The pitch from Reynolds. Called strike three. Reynolds able to get the strikeout looking. And retire Stokes. That'll bring up Brown.
First pitch to Brown, high and outside, ball one. And the 1-0. Fouled back, 1-1. One, one. And the pitch. Foul back once again. One ball, two strikes, two outs. Runner on second for the Spirits. Tornadoes trying to keep this margin right here at two runs. As this is high, one, two. Sharply hit ground ball there, foul. Count becomes 2 2. And the pitch. A wild pitch will advance the runner to third. And the count will run full. So now runner on third. That's the pinch runner, McLam. And then taking ball four there. Was Brown. Now the new pitcher, Griffin Pierce, will come to the plate. Pierce relieved Cat Price that last half inning. First pitch there, high inside, ball one. Runner going, and that'll be a stolen base. Brown taking second, now second and third. Chris made the throw to third to make sure that McLam wasn't on the move herself. Sometimes you see a delayed double steal with that runner on third. Now a hitter's count, 3-0 to Pierce, and she takes ball four. That'll load the bases for the Spirits. So back to the top of the order, Malia Tate with her third at bat. Pitch from Reynolds. Put into play right back to Reynolds. She's able to make the play at first to Olive, and that'll strand three Salem base runners. We'll head to the 
bottom of the third with your score, Salem 5, Brevard 3. the bottom of the third we go. An opportunity for Gabby Hooper to get things started. Hooper, Layton, and Queen, who led off the bottom of the second as well. Here's the 2-0. High, ball three. And a four-pitch walk. And Hooper, who's a strong base runner, Takes first base. Evie Layton will step to the plate. And the pitch. First pitch called strike. Here's the 0 1. Runner going, beautifully laid down bunt there by Layton. And a successful sacrifice. Well, we'll see what the call is here, actually. So everyone will return back to their stations. 0-2 the count. So a batter's box violation there as this is fouled off and out of play. Count remains 0-2. Here's the 0-2. Lined foul. And the pitch. Missing, one, two. Popped up, shallow center, and able to make the play there, the second baseman, Stokes. For out number one. That'll bring up Carly Queen.
And the pitch. Inside, 1-1. One, one. Deceptive pitch there from Pierce. Able to get ahead of Queen, 1-2. As this is fouled and out of play. Runner going. And... A stolen base in the process. For Hooper. So runner now in scoring position. With the queen at bat continuing. Two balls, two strikes, one out. The pitch. Plays made there by the Salem shortstop Duffy for out number two. That'll bring up Riley Locklear. Locklear. Starting second baseman for the Nados. Lead off hitter. Pitch there inside, ball one. Cooper, the base runner at second. Called strike, 1-1. One, one. Grounder here. And... Safe, an RBI single for Locklear scoring Hooper. And the lead for Salem now cut to one run. So that'll bring up Peyton Wise. Nice piece of hitting there from Locklear. Great base running from Hooper, able to get the stolen base and then score all the way from second on the RBI single. And we've got a 5-4 ball game here at the BC softball field. A lot of action already. It's still the third inning. Pitch here. Strike one. Griffin Pierce, the second pitcher of this contest for the Spirits. And the 0-1. 0-2 now the count. <laughs> and the pitch. High, 1-2. One, one ball, two strikes, two outs. Pitch there in the dirt, 2-2. Two, two. two balls, two strikes, two outs, runner at first. Pitch, comebacker to Pierce. And that'll be out number three, but Tornado's able to shave one more run off that deficit, we'll head to the top of the fourth. Your score, Salem 5, Brevard 4.
To the top of the fourth we go. A 5-4 lead for the visiting Salem Spirits. Making their way to the mountains from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Not too far from us. As that's grounded foul. Coincidentally, the Salem Spirits are also competing against the Brevard College Tornadoes as we speak at the McCoy Tennis Complex in women's tennis. So it's a Spirits versus Tornadoes kind of Tuesday. Pitch there inside, ball one. And the 1-1. One, one. Grounded and handled there nicely by Locklear. Makes the play to Olive for round number one. Bring up Cassandra Miller. Lifted to right field. Locklear makes a diving effort. Big time effort there from Locklear. Count now 1-1 one, one with the foul ball. Locklear able to get back into position. What an effort there, laying out for a potential spectacular catch. The pitch inside, 2-1. This is slapped into right field. That's going to be a base hit for a Miller. Miller's had a nice game thus far. Three for three now with a double and an RBI. They'll bring up Morrison. And the pitch hits Morrison. So now runners first and second with one out. For Salem, number 20, Savannah, Atkins. Savannah Atkins now steps to the plate. And Salem with an opportunity to add to their lead here. Two aboard and just one out. First pitch, a dandy from Reynolds. Oh, won the count. Atkins steps back into the box. Reynolds gets her sign and now fires away. Low inside, 1-1. One, one.
Here's the 1-1. Fouled back in out of play. And the one two. Fouled out of play. Count will remain one two. And the pitch. Outside, 2-2. Two, two. Runners first and second. A 2-2 count with one out. Seems like a key situation for both these teams. This is driven to center field, and that'll be out number two. Carly Queen able to make the put out. Trusty outfielder for the Nados. That'll bring up Carmen Duffy. Pitch outside ball one. Here's the one zero -oh. across the plate one one. fouled off as well. 1-2 the count. Breaking ball there from Reynolds just misses. Count runs the 2-2. Two -two. Two balls, two strikes, two outs, two runners aboard. And the battle between Reynolds and Duffy continues. And the pitch. Well struck. Deep left field and gone. It's a home run for the Salem Spirits. Carmen Duffy with the blast to left field. That ball traveled a long way. A three-run blast that extends the lead to 8-4. to four. Uh, Salem's it doubles up the Tornadoes with one swing. That'll bring up Stokes. 
That ball was a towering shot to left field. And Reynolds will go right back to work, this time against Stokes. Carmen Duffy. Big difference maker thus far. Now an 8-4 lead. Grounder here. And Hooper's able to make the play to end the inning. But damage done by Carmen Duffy. A three-run home run. And we'll head to the bottom of the fourth with your score. Salem 8 Brevard four. So Mackenzie Wilburn will lead things off for the NATOs. Wilburn, Harlow, and Olive. Three, four, five hitters do up. Tornadoes have to come from behind once again. They trailed 5-0, cut the deficit to 5-4, now down 8-4. Grounder here. And a base hit. Tough hop over there for the left side of the Salem defense. And Wilburn is on board. Shortstop and third baseman got a little crossed up there as well. But, yeah, took a weird little hop over there. And just like that, leadoff hitter aboard for the Natos, Wilburn. Big swing and a miss there from Harlow. If she connected on that. Sky's the limit how far that softball may have traveled. As she fouls back the next offering. And the count's 1-2. Pitch there in the dirt. Nice job blocking the pitch in the dirt by Atkins. And the pitch fouled back. 2-2. Two -two. Foul tip, swing and a miss, and just like that, out number one. I'm going to bring up Caitlin Olive. First pitch to Olive across the plate, strike one. Runner at first for the Natos, that's Mackenzie Wilborn. A 
after an infield single. One one now to count to Olive. Olive lifts this to right center field. Plays made there by the center fielder. Cree Bass. And that'll bring up Summer Christ with two outs, a runner at first. If the inning continues, Hooper awaits on deck. Pitch there outside, 2-0. Good looking offering there from Griffin Pierce. Chris able to lift that to right field and that's gonna be a base hit and runners at first and third. And that'll bring up Hooper. Nice piece of hitting there from Chris, the freshman from Williamston, South Carolina. And that'll bring up Gabby Hooper. First pitch to Hooper, hits Hooper, and that'll load the bases. And Evie Layton will step to the plate. First pitch to Layton outside. Big opportunity here for the Natos. Bases load, tying run at the plate. Inside, 2-0. Fouled off there, 2-1. And a base hit there from Layton. And two runs score in the process. Great stuff there as Layton able to put the ball in play. And Tornadoes have cut the deficit to two. Bring up Carly Queen. Tornadoes starting to feel some momentum here in the bottom of the fourth. Grounder to third and able to make the play for the force out was LaPointe, but Tornado's able to get two runs there in the bottom of the fourth. We'll head to the top of the fifth. Your score, Salem 8, Brevard 6.
Cree Bass. We'll step to the plate for the first time in this one. She was in the flex position. Now hitting in the eight hole. Cree Bass playing center field. Senior from Maiden, North Carolina. And 2-0 the count. Reynolds continuing her outing. Cree Bass lifts that to short. Hooper is able to make the play for out number one. That'll bring up the pitcher, Griffin Pierce. Batting for Salem, number 16, Griffin Pierce. I saw Pierce relieve the starting pitcher, Cat Price, way back in the second inning. Reynolds has pitched the entire contest for the Nados. And a soft liner there to Hooper for out number two. So Hooper makes two plays for the first two outs of this top of the fifth. And Leah Tate stepped to the plate, the sophomore from Lexington, North Carolina. Bats from the left side. First pitch there, missing. Here's the 1 0. Inside, 2 0. And the pitch. Tate tries a bit of a slap down the first baseline, but foul. Big smile on her face. Three zero the count. And laying down a. Bunt there, and it's a dandy. That's going to be a bunt single for Tate. Really nicely done. And that'll bring up LaPointe. Have to certainly keep an eye on Tate on the base paths. See over at first base now, kneeling on her right knee. Now in the crouch, sort of a sprinter's position, and there she goes. And the throw was a great one from Chris. Hooper was there with the tag, but Tate able to slide into second safely. Stolen base for Tate. Pitch was a strike, 0-1 the count. Reynolds will go back to work. Fouled off there, out of play, 0-2. So the good news is Reynolds is ahead, 0-2 in the count. The concerning news is you've got the speedy Tate at second. Need one out here to strand Tate, keep this deficit at two. But a grounder down the third base line is going to be fair. Tate's going to score easily. And that's going to be an RBI double 
And now a 9-6 to six lead for the Spirits. LaPointe absolutely ripped that ground ball down the third base line. Just fair. Weiss dived for it. And it was more than enough to get Tate home. In fact, I'm certain Tate would have even scored from first had she not stolen that base. And the pitch. Low, 1-1. One, one. And Hooper is able to make the play there. She makes all three outs in the inning. But Salem able to score one more run in the process. We'll head to the bottom of the fifth. Your score, Salem 9, Brevard 6. Back here at the BC softball field on the campus of Brevard College. Brevard, North Carolina in the mountains of Western North Carolina. Glad you're able to join us wherever you may be tuning in from. USA South softball action on a Tuesday late afternoon. First pitch there across the plate, a strike from Pierce, top of the order for the Natos, one, two, three hitters, Locklear, Weiss, and Wilborn. One, one, the count. Sharply hit. Line drive to right field. That's going to be a base hit for Locklear. And that will bring up Peyton Wise. Peyton Wise steps to the plate. Tornadoes were able to shave a run off the Salem lead, and then Salem able to get one back. Pitch there outside as well, 2-0. Peyton Wise, part of the exciting freshman class this season for the Tornadoes. Out of Candler, North Carolina, not far from us here at Brevard. Inca High School. As line drive there to left, runners on the move. Throw is off the mark. And runners now second and third for the Natos. Number three, 
That'll bring up Mackenzie Wilborn. So ruled a base hit, advances to second on the throw. Nice piece of hitting there from Peyton Wise. And we mentioned Wise part of the freshman class. So is Mackenzie Wilborn out of Greer, South Carolina. And meanwhile, we're going to have a pitching change for the Spirits. So big opportunity here for the NATOs. Critical situation for the Spirits. New pitcher will be Katie Gerhardt. So stick with us. Bottom of inning number five, your score. Salem nine, Brevard six. So new pitcher, Katie Gerhardt, the senior from Richlands, North Carolina. And big situation here for the Nados. Runners second and third. Kenzie Wilborn. First pitch, a good one from Gerhardt. The 1-1. One, one. Grounder there, and that's going to be an RBI ground out for Wilborn. So run scores for the Tornadoes. 9-7 now your score. So a pinch hitter for the Tornadoes, Cassie Plemons, the senior from Asheville, North Carolina, North Buncombe High School, a fan favorite. Dual sport student athlete, also a member of the Brevard College women's basketball team. And you hear the roar from the audience here at the BC softball field. Plemons. Most certainly a fan favorite. See if she can get it done here. Runner at second. A 9-7 ball game. Pitch is wild. And now runner at third as Weiss able to make her way to third. Clemens spends her springs at the softball field with Coach Bree Sharon. Springs her winner's. In the Boschmer Gymnasium with head coach Donald Hudson, associate head coach Annalie Bollinger, and the BC women's basketball team. Here's the 1-1. One, one. Locates for strike two. Grounder up the middle. It's going to be an RBI single for Plemons. And the fans here at the BC softball field absolutely erupt. We mentioned the fan favorite and the senior from Asheville, North Carolina, North Buncombe High School. And 
And that'll bring up Caitlin Olive. So Plemons now the runner at first. Now a one-run ball game. These two teams play to a one-run result. 7-6 in favor of the Spirits in game one of the doubleheader. Spirits leading by one once again, but all the momentum on the side of the NATOs as of late. Pitch there. Called strike, 1-1. One, one. And the 1-1. One, one. Grounder up the third baseline, foul. And the pitch. Well struck, deep center field, but the play made all the way to the warning track. Bass able to make the play, retire Olive, and now two down. And Summer Christ will step to the plate. First pitch, cross the plate, strike one. Grounder to second, and that'll retire the side. But Tornado is able to inch closer your score as we head to the top of the sixth. Salem 9, Brevard 8. Head to the top of the sixth. One run ball game here at the BC softball field. Karma Morrison leads things off for the Spirits. Grace Reynolds continuing her outing. The pitch called strike. Here's the 0-1. Line drive to left. Nicely done there by the Tornadoes. Layton. And a quick out. That'll bring up Atkins. Tornadoes under the direction of head coach Bree Sharon. Assisted by two Brevard College alums, Taylor Hanna and Emily White.
Line drive there to left. And that's going to be a double for Savannah Atkins, graduate student from Dobson, North Carolina. That'll bring up Duffy. Duffy's who had the three-run home run that at least at the time seem to have blown this game open. The Tornadoes have worked their way back, but here's Duffy once again, certainly a threat. The pitch. Low. And the 1-0. High, check that, called strike, 1-1. One, one. One ball, two strikes, one out. Runner on second. 9-8 ball game. Two balls, two strikes. Pitch from Reynolds. Grounder handled by Weiss. To Olive for out number two. Runner holds at second. Now batting for Salem, number 55, Ashlyn. Bring up Ashlyn Stokes. Seven hole hitter. Starting second baseman. Seen her make a few plays in the defensive end. And the pitch. Across the plate, strike one. Nice start against Stokes for Reynolds. Stokes from Richlands, North Carolina. Same hometown, but different high school as Katie Gerhardt, who is currently the pitcher in this contest for Salem. The vast majority of Salem's roster from the state of North Carolina. As that's fouled off. Do have one player from Tennessee, a couple from Georgia, a South Carolina product, a Virginia product, and an Illinois product, but everyone else from North Carolina. Here's the 0-2. Grounder. And nice 4-3 put out. Locklear to Olive. Good looking inning there for the Tornadoes. We'll head to the bottom of the sixth. Tight one here at BC Softball Field. Your score, Salem 9 for Vard 8.
So big opportunity here for the NATOs. Cooper, Layton, and Queen. Seven, eight, nine hitters. First pitch swinging is Hooper. Well struck, but Tate able to reel it in for out number one. I'll bring up Evie Layton. Layton, the sophomore out of Orlando, Florida, University High School. Pitch from Gerhardt. Outside, 1-1. One, one. Pitch there, high, 2-1. Count runs the 2-2 after that take from Layton. Line drive. Handled by the Salem second baseman and Layton's able to leg it out for a base hit. One of those soft line drives that just sort of the air falls out of it and makes the play very tough for the second baseman. Great base running for Layton to leg it out. And she represents the tying run for the Natos as Carly Queen steps into the batter's box. Riley Locklear awaits on deck. One one the count with one out, runner at first, the pitch. Grounded to third. And nice play by the third baseman. The point. Layton advances to second on the play. And that'll bring up Riley Locklear. Certainly she's had a hot bat throughout this one. and Big situation here. Now the tying run at second base. That's Layton. There are two outs. So no room for error here. Pitch from Gerhardt. Locklear puts it into play. Fair, and she's able to beat the throw. And just like that, runners first and third. So two infield hits. Great hustle. Base running for both Layton and Locklear. And Wise comes to the plate. So now the tying run at third. The go-ahead run at first. And the pitch to Wise. Inside, 1-0. Mackenzie Wilborn awaits on deck. If the inning continues, the pitch. Grounder here from her knees, able to make the play. The shortstop, Duffy. And Salem's able to dodge a bullet there as the Tornadoes strand two base runners. We'll head to the top of the seventh. Exciting ball game here at the BC softball field. Your score through six innings. 
Salem 9, Brevard 8. Back to action here as we head to the seventh inning. Tornadoes have never led this ball game, but Razor close, just down by one run. Had a big opportunity there in the sixth. Now need to hold this margin at one run to give the Tornadoes the best possible opportunity in the bottom of the seventh. Grace Reynolds will go back to work. Cree Bass at the plate for the Spirits. Pitch there. Swing and a miss. Line drive here, and that's going to be a base hit for Bass. So runner aboard for the Spirits. That'll bring up Gerhardt, the pitcher for the Spirits. Coach asks for time to talk things over with Gerhardt. So Katie Gerhardt. Steps into the batter box and ready to face off against Grace Reynolds, who's pitched this entire contest for the Nados. And Gerhardt does her job laying down a sacrifice bun. A little bit of an adventure over there, but the Tornado is able to get the out. And that'll be one down. And Malia Tate, who has certainly made some noise today, from that leadoff position, she's going to step back into the batter's box from the left side. So now runner on second and Tate at the plate. Infield in on the corners. Tate swings away and that's going to land foul. Hitting the roof of the tornado dugout. And the 0-1. Cross the plate there, 0-2. Good looking pitch there from Reynolds and she gets ahead of the dangerous Tate. And popped up there right back to Reynolds. So able to retire Tate on three pitches. And that'll bring up LaPointe. So now two down, runner on second. Tornadoes defense and Grace Reynolds one out away from giving their offense a chance with just a one run deficit.
And the 1-0. Lifted to center field and able to make the play. Carly Queen for out number three. We'll head to the bottom of the seventh. Tornadoes trailing 9-8. So we head to the bottom of the seventh. Salem nine, Brevard eight. Wilborn, Clemens, and Olive do up for the Nados. Gerhardt in the circle for Salem. First pitch swinging was Wilborn, and nice job at first by Miller to make the stretch and the out. One down. That'll bring up Cassie Plemons. Plemons, who had the big RBI single last time up, native of nearby Asheville, North Carolina, North Buncombe High School. The senior dual sport student athlete. Softball and women's basketball. The pitch. Across the plate, 1-1. One, one. Caitlin Olive awaits on deck. Tornadoes down to their final two outs, trailing by one. Pitch slapped to short. And Salem's able to make the 6-3 put out as Duffy connects with Miller. And Tornadoes now down to their final out in a one-run ball game. And that'll bring up Caitlin Olive. First pitch across the plate, strike one. Pitch there outside, 1-1. One, one. Two balls, one strikes, two outs. Caitlin Olive. Squaring off against Katie Gerhardt. Three one, your count. And the 3-1. Out of play. 3-2. 
Pitch inside, ball four, so Tornadoes still live here in the bottom of the seventh. Looks like a pinch runner. Michaela Jones. So nice job by Olive to reach base. And now Jones, the pinch runner. And Summer Christ will step to the plate. So the tying run at first. That's Michaela Jones, the pinch runner. And Summer Christ, the freshman starting catcher in this contest from Williamston, South Carolina, steps to the plate. Gerhardt winds and pitches. Big lead off of first from Jones. One oh the count and the pitch. High ball two. So hitters count early here in this at bat. Look like a take all the way there from Christ. Two on the count. Two outs here in the bottom of the seventh. Tornado's down by one. Jones, the base runner at first. This is fouled off, so count run to 2-2. Two, two. Summer Christ steps back into the batter's box. And the pitch. Outside. Count runs full. So the drama continues to build here at the BC softball field. Bottom of inning number seven. The pitch. Fouled away, so Chris stays alive. And Gerhardt continuing to battle in the circle for the Spirits. Pitch there's high, ball four, so runners first and second. And that's going to bring up Gabby Hooper. Veteran shortstop, certainly familiar with situations like this. Big opportunity for the junior. Hooper out of Robbinsville, North Carolina, Robbinsville High School. Meanwhile, a conference in the circle for the entire Salem infield, along with Gerhardt. The tying runs on second. That's Michaela Jones. The potential winning run is on first. That's Summer Christ. And at the plate, Gabby Hooper with a big time opportunity here for Brevard College. In a 9 8 ball game with two outs. First pitch locates nicely. Gerhardt able to get ahead 0 1. Volume from both dugouts starting to crank up a bit. And the pitch. High, 1-1. One, one. one ball, one strike, two outs. The pitch. Across the plate, one, two. So now Tornado's down to their final strike. Yeah, 
Gabby Hooper. Gerhardt winds and pitches outside 2-2. Nice plate discipline there from Hooper. Not to chase that outside pitch. But two balls, two strikes, two outs. Runners first and second. Here's the pitch. Line drive to center field. Runners are held. And the base is loaded. And just like that, the tension convention here at the BC softball field will continue. Great piece of hitting there by Hooper. But the runner held at third. Michaela Jones, base runner there. And now base is loaded for Layton. So Layton now with the opportunity. The tying runs at first. That's Jones. The go-ahead runs at second. That's Summer Christ. Evie Layton at the plate. Down to her final strike. This is lifted to deep center field, but the play is made by the Spirits as the center fielder able to run that one down. Cree Bass able to make the final out. Gerhardt able to get the final out in the circle, and the Tornadoes leave the bases loaded in the bottom of the seventh. Two run, run, one run ball games here in this double header, and Salem able to take them both. Both high scoring affairs, and both with a margin of just one run. So your final score here at the BC Softball Field, Salem 9, BC 8. Stick with us while we'll have some additional final thoughts and statistics from the BC Softball Field on the campus of Brevard College. So your final score here at the BC Softball Field, game two of the doubleheader, Salem 9, Brevard 8. Salem, nine runs on 12 hits and two errors. Brevard, eight runs on 15 hits with four errors. Salem took a 4-0 lead in the first. Added another run in the top of the second. Led 5-0. Tornadoes came back. Cut it to 5-4. Salem went back up ahead 8-4 on a big three-run home run. And then late, the Tornadoes able to add two runs in the fifth. Make it a 9-8 ball game. But that's where it ended. And the Tornadoes able to get base runners aboard in that bottom of the seventh. But Salem able to eke out the victory. Riley Locklear, big day for the Tornadoes offensively. Three for four with two runs scored. Peyton Wise, three for five with two runs scored. Mackenzie Wilburn also with a three-hit game. Three for five. So the one, two, three hitters all with three hits for the Nados. Wilburn also two RBIs. Cassie Plemons, one for two with an RBI. Summer Chris, one for four with a run scored. Gabby Hooper, two for three with two runs scored and a triple. And Evie Layton, two for four with three RBIs. Grace Reynolds pitched the entire contest for the Tornadoes. She struck out two. Gave up nine runs, but just six of them were earned as Tornadoes defense had some miscues, especially in those early innings. Salem 
use three pitchers. Gerhardt was very effective at the end of this game, pitching three complete innings, not allowing a run on just four hits. Price and Pierce also saw action for Salem in the circle. And then offensively for Salem, Tate, two for four with three runs scored. Miller, three for four with two runs scored. And the big home run by Duffy. She went two for three with five RBIs in this game. Well, the Tornadoes will regroup and we'll be back here on Saturday as the USA South Conference continues its play through these next couple weekends. Well, glad you're able to join us for this one. A wild affair Salem able to take the victory. Big thanks to everybody behind the scenes, including Sports Information Director Joseph Marvin. And outstanding work once again. Behind the scenes by the Brevard College Volleyball Program. Can't thank them enough. That'll do it for us here at the BC Softball Field. Your final score for the final time. Salem 9, Brevard 8. Go Tornadoes.